cell phones and digital cameras that were shared with the world. Here to talk with us about uh, this new form of media involving everyday people who are now being called citizen journalists is Dr. Audrey Guskey. She's live in the newsroom. Hi. Good morning, John. Hi, Sunny. So, Audrey, first tell us what exactly is citizen journalism. It's a relatively new concept and a, t a, a term that's just been tagged, I guess, in the past couple of years. It, ha it absolutely has, Sunny. It really was tagged by Wikipedia, and it's citizen journalists. And basically, it's exactly what it sounds. It's the average person capturing and disseminating particular information. They, in a sense, are becoming eye reporters. And um, when you really think about this particular phenomenon, especially with the Virginia Tech shootings, you had individual average people through their cell phones and through the digital technology that they have being able to share it to the world. And we've always been able to maybe capture these images on some kind of camera or media, but the key now is to be able to disseminate and distribute it across the world, and that's what we're seeing happen. And so there's a lot of issues involved with that, ethical issues. You know, people's privacy, in a sense, is being um, tampered with and also you've got the quality of media and the objectivity of it and so those are just some issues that you know you have to think about when you're dealing with this new t new form of media and the eye reporters yeah um, I, I, I I do realize that in this case uh, of the Virginia Tech shootings that these certainly could be called citizen journalists but I do have a problem when we are tagging this term on to just ordinary people who are digging into people's business and then they take a picture send it on their cell phones all of a sudden it's out on tablet and everything and then they're supposed to be called citizen journalists? John, you're exactly right. There's obviously issues with that. What tends to happen is you've got people who are eyewitnessing things and putting them literally on air. And um, in the past, particularly young people were able to put it on YouTube or Facebook or Space, MySpace. Nowadays, the traditional journalists, CNN, CBS, NBC are using them. And we all know Jamal's famous video that he took during the Virginia Tech shootings. And you mm -hmm. hear it, and you see him walking around the campus. And something like that, you know, you really have to be careful with because it is treading on people's privacy, their confidentiality, as well as the quality of, of the journalism. And as you said, John, they're not trained. These individuals are just simply capturing what they're seeing as eyewitnesses. And Audrey, what's interesting is the video that was first broadcast by CNN. It was a cell phone video that actually captured some of the um, audio from yeah. the gunshots being fired. A lot of people calling it the most poignant video uh, that any news camera captured, so it kind of topped, uh, topped everything else that was out there. But what this also puts at risk is uh, it, it kind of, as John said, uh, the issue of discrediting the actual journalists mm -hmm. who are out there with the story. There could be conflicting stories depending on what source you're getting it from, the citizen journalist or the reporter that's actually on the scene. Sonny, you're exactly right. And, and when you think about Katrina was really when it started as well. People were trying to capture what was happening to them. And fortunately or unfortunately for us, as people who are viewers of the media and involved in the media, it's going to be happening. It is the future of media today. Dr. Audrey Guskey, thank you so much. Remember, Audrey is with us every Tuesday here on Pittsburgh.